Now, I'm guessing a lot of you are wondering exactly what is Oculus Developer Hub and how can it be useful to me, the everyday Quest 2 user. Now, the Oculus Developer Hub is exactly what it sounds like. It's a hub that gives developers all the tools they need when developing games for the Quest 2. So in this video, I'm gonna show you why this is a must have, even if you're not a developer. Now, in order to get Oculus Developer Hub, I do have a link in the description below that you can use to get to that website where you can then download the developer hub. And just in case you didn't already know, you do have to have developer mode already enabled in order to do any of this. But I did make a video showing how to enable developer mode, so go ahead and check that out. I'm gonna leave that in the description below as well. Now, once the developer hub is downloaded, you're gonna go ahead and open that. Now, when you first open the app, you're going to want to sign in to your Oculus account or your Facebook account. Once you're all signed in, go to the device manager, and that's where I'm going to be able to show you all the neat things that you can do on the hub. So one of my favorite things that you're able to do on the hub is connect your Quest 2 to your computer wirelessly. Now, I do know that for some, you all have been able to do this on SideQuest, but for people like me who have a Mac, uh, it doesn't have that option. So this is another way that you can connect your Quest 2 to your computer wirelessly and be able to sideload and download different things without having to use a wire. Speaking of SideQuest, this does also allow you to use your SideQuest wirelessly as well. So as long as you have this connected to your Quest 2 wirelessly, once you go on SideQuest, it's going to show that as well. This also does allow you to turn off your proximity sensor on your Quest 2. So now you no longer have to worry about your Quest 2 automatically shutting off. You can also use this to take screenshots or record video and I'm going to get back to that later on in the video because that's really important and it's something really cool that I want to show you all. You can also get some developer exclusive news. You can uh, look at downloads for new SDKs if you're into that. A lot of these things here can show you the upcoming future for the Quest 2 so it's really cool to look at sometimes. You can also go on a file manager which allows you to see basically everything on your Quest 2 like videos and photos. You can see a live reading of how well a game is performing. Personally I don't really use this but it is cool. And now last but not least recording. Now as a content creator for VR my favorite thing about this hub is that you can record pass through from the Quest 2 in this developer hub. So the settings here while casting and recording allow you to adjust the resolution, but honestly, there's really no point because it moves really slow if you adjust the resolution a bit too much, but they do have that option. So right now as a Mac user, this is the only place that I can actually record pass through uh, from the Quest 2. I know others say they can do it on side quests, but with a lot of other things when using Mac um, and using side quests, we can't do that. So this is the perfect way that people like me can record pass through or do a lot of other things you're limited to on side quests. So these are some of the reasons on why I think everyone should be getting Oculus Developer Hub. It's just very useful and everyone could benefit from it. If you like this video or you learned something new or it just helps you out, please like and subscribe. It would really help the channel out. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day or night. Peace out.